see if, how answers align. Um, are you guys ready to answer some, some questions for us? Let's go. Uh, kind of rapid fire, kind of not. Um, question number one. What's the first album you remember receiving as a child or buying with your own money? Well, the first one I received, I think, was probably uh, Weird Al record. Uh, when I was, you know, in middle school or something. I'm trying to, it was the one with the Nirvana cover, but I can't remember the name of off it. Off the Deep End. That's right. <laughs> That's impressive. That's very impressive. Yeah. <laughs> Live radio. <laughs> uh, the first one I bought with my own money, I think, was like in seventh grade. I bought Our Lady Peace Clumsy. Dude. Nice. Love <laughs> Our Lady Peace. <laughs> Say the the first one I remember getting was a tape of uh, it was called Victory by the Jacksons, not the Jackson Five. It was when they had switched to the Jacksons. After the Jackson Five. Yeah, they like they were all grown up and yeah, they they just went wow. by the Jacksons. Didn't know this. One. It was like it was probably a year after Thriller, so Michael had oh. already made it big, but everybody else. Yeah, I don't remember anything about that tape, but I remember having that. And then the first one I remember buying was uh, Miscellaneous Debris, which is a Primus EP. Nice. That was the first CD that I ever bought with my own money. Um, second question. What was your first concert or first local band you remember seeing? Well, not local to KC. I grew up in Topeka. Uh, but both my parents are musicians. And so it's not really the same type of answer because I grew up seeing them play with... Uh, with Topeka Jazz Workshop, my father played in, which is a big band out in out of Topeka, and my mother played with a municipal, like a wind band, like uh, it was Marshall's band, I believe, in Topeka, and she also played with the Topeka Symphony. So, all three of those groups I've been seeing since I was younger than I remember. A little baby drummer. So yeah, it's not like you know my first exposure was going to a club and seeing a band somewhere when I was a teenager or whatever. Sure. I kind of grew up around that. Mine's not nearly as dignified, but it goes in with your with your first one. My, the first concert that I remember seeing was Weird Al Yankovic at Worlds of Fun. Wow, we're trading, we're trading. Yeah, answers. there we go. Nice. We're going to work this into all seven. Yeah. <laughs> Question number three. What's your favorite film that has anything to do with music? Well, if we include documentaries, there's yes. a lot of them. So I'll try not to be too long because it's rapid fire, but I've got two documentaries. Uh, one is uh, Let's Get Lost, a Chet Baker documentary. It was made in the 80s. It's all black and white, but it's super hip. Uh, and the other is a documentary called Touch the Sound, and that's about a Scottish uh, classical percussionist. Um, I got a soft spot for John Cusack, as you can see. I've got, I saw that. Yeah. Uh, high Fidelity. I love High Fidelity, and I'm not afraid to admit that. You shouldn't be afraid I to love admit it. that. That's a great movie. Question number four. If you could hop on a van or tour bus with any current touring band, who would it be? I don't think I would. I don't get, uh... <laughs> it's a new one. <laughs> That's the first ten weeks. Well, I don't get particularly starstruck. I, I love lots of musicians and their music, but I love their music. I mean, it w I would be honored to meet them and hang out, but, you know, it w I wouldn't be freaking out about it. Sure. And, you know, if I'm going to be on a tour bus touring and living that lifestyle, which a lot of people who've done it said isn't that fun, I want to be touring for myself. I want to be on the gig. Yeah. So. Anyway. Um, I would have loved to play trombone for Stevie Wonder when he went through and did the songs of Kia Life. Re, like the, this little revamp of that. How old were you then? How old was I when that came out? I was a sparkle or a <laughs> twinkle. <laughs> but, at, yeah. but he just like he just yeah. went back through and redid it like this winter. So that's as current as I can think. That works. It'd be a nice tour bus, I bet. Oh, I'm sure it'd be okay. Can uh, I go back real quick and add one more thing? <laughs> oh, no, no. I think so. We still got a couple minutes. Okay. It's not they're not it's not a band, but a touring act. If there's one that I really want to like glom onto and hang around and be a fanboy of, Henry Rollins. Oh. That's interesting. That's a good one. Yeah. Um, number five. What's a KC band <coughs> musician that's heavily impacted you? Um, for musician, uh, Bobby Watson. I mean, it seems like a very yeah, it seems like a very standard answer for 
a jazz musician that's gone through UMKC. But I mean, I at one point in 2000, early 2010, I was pretty much done with music and burnt out. And he found me at Harlings and actually I got my scholarship to UMKC on the balcony, if you call it a balcony, at Harlings. Um, and yeah, so I owe a lot to him for just getting me back into music and loving music again. Okay, uh, for Kansas City and being a jazz musician, it has such a rich tradition uh, that I could, if I was going to be a jerk, I could just say every jazz musician contributed in the legacy that's passed down. You know, everybody's a torchbearer. So, sure. but if I'm going to name a few names, Bobby's one of them because he was my teacher as well. Very influential. And then just uh, other KC musicians I th that come to mind, Count Basie, Charlie Parker, Pat Metheny. Question number six. What song do you wish you would have written? That's the one I can't really think of a good answer to, you know? If I'd have written it, it wouldn't be the same song. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm being a jerk again. No, you know. Full of curveballs. He's taking this to another level. Yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, it, that's just a really weird abstract. I, I racked my brain for a while, and uh, I don't know. I like so many songs. Yeah, this was And, a, you know, if it wasn't written by who wrote it, I wouldn't probably like it as much. Sure. Yeah, this was a tough one. I came up with All I Know Is Tonight by Yaga Jazzist, which is a Norwegian... Every night I play that I'm sure you do. <laughs> <laughs> um, they're, they're a Norwegian sort of... Euro pop electronic jazz group, but it's really, it sounds very Scandinavian. It's very simple, beautiful melodies. Cool. Uh, I, just, I find myself putting that song on repeat, so that's probably the best bad answer I can give you. Question number seven, the final question. Complete the sentence without music, I would be unemployed. <laughs> I think we've had that one before. I would be incredibly bored. Yeah. We've definitely yeah. had yeah. a board.